The biggest question I had about applying to university was which course I should apply to. This is probably one of the most common questions when you start applying to uni. And for me, I always knew I liked science, biology, and pharmacology, and I was more inclined towards a science degree at the start, so that made my choice a little bit more easy. For me, I decided to do a little bit of more research about pharmacology, and then I was decided that I was very interested in it. And then in first year, you get a taste of all of different modules like genetics and physiology, pharmacology, and that really helps you because you get a taste of the degrees in a smaller way and you can then decide if you want to change or if you just want to stick. And for me, I knew I was just going to stay in pharmacology and I just absolutely love it. The biggest question I had about my course was how are the lectures going to be like? I think this is one of the most common questions in first year and most lectures are very similar. They usually put out the slides beforehand so it's a good tip to check them out before. You don't have to read them but it's always good to know what you're gonna see before you start learning about it. And some lectures are very interactive and they bring in material and they do interactive quiz and some modules can be very different from other modules but they always follow a quite similar structure so it's not very different besides that. The biggest question I had about university study was how I was gonna study for university. I think this is a very difficult question and I think even at third year it's so hard to stick to one method and thinking this is the right for you. The university offers a lot of tools for students that want to improve their academic skills such as writing or revising methods and they have a lot of information in the library's website about the academic skills said and that really helped me at first year because you're not very sure what is the best way to tackle an exam especially in the biomedical science that you start with mcqs and then you move to second year and you start um, with essay exams and they can be quite daunting so figuring out what the best technique for you it's just something of trial and error and what might work for your friends maybe doesn't work for you but i think it's something that you just have to try it and see how you feel and if not just change it don't stick to one method don't stick to just doing flashcards don't stick to just um reading do step different things because you're gonna gain something new out of everything The biggest question I had about living in Newcastle was how it was going to be like living outside my country for the first time. Um, this was the very first time living outside my home and I think it's the first time for many international students and it's very scary at first but once you get to know the city and you adapt yourself to the weather and the culture, it's very nice and you become very adjust to it. I think Newcastle is such a vibrant city and there's so many options for students to go out and have a drink or just go to a restaurant and just have fun in general. Like there's so many activities. Newcastle is such a big city and it's so pretty. I would say it's one of the best cities to live as a student. So I think it is a great choice if you're considering Newcastle University as an international student. The biggest question I had about Newcastle University was if the university was going to give me any type of help with careers advice or um, building my curriculum. 
So Newcastle University does have a career team. They're very helpful and they have lots of appointments and sessions where you can just go in and ask all your questions. Maybe show them your CV. If you have an interview coming up, they'll help you to prepare for that. They're very helpful and they give you a lot of feedback on your um, interviewing skills and your CV. I think as a student, we are always just worried about assignments and exams and it's very hard to think about the future. But once you get further into your degree, you start getting those questions where well, I have to work on my CV, I have to get a LinkedIn, I have to do all this stuff after I graduate so I can maybe get a master's or secure a job. And the career team can help you to start thinking about those um, questions that you have and help you um, start your career in your field. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video and that we solved all of your intriguing questions.